Inspector General of Police Joseph Boynat spent the better part of his last day in office attending meetings at the office of the President. Boyat walked into the office of the President as early as 9 a.m. He left the meeting at 6.30 p.m. and headed straight to State House. Top on the agenda was the appointment of an acting IG. The National Police Service Commission is supposed to advertise the position, conduct interviews and zero in on three names that will be forwarded to the President. The President will then pick one and forward the name to Parliament for ratification. Before this process is conducted, an acting IG will take over from Boyd whose four-year term at the helm came to an end yesterday. Unlike in the past when Boyd was accompanied by his two deputies and DCI Chief George Kennedy into official meetings, he was alone yesterday, according to highly placed sources in government. Boyd is said to have met Interior Principal Secretary Karanja Kibicho and Cabinet Secretary Fred Mashangai. Deputy Igs Nirgaba and Edward Mbugwa were planned to hold another meeting with the two top officials at the op later in the evening. Earlier plans, according to credible sources, were to have the newly recruited commissioners of the on PSC sworn in yesterday morning after which the commission was to hold a meeting to plan the handover. Boy it was to hand over to either of the two digs. However, the alleged Kenuthi alleged on PSC was not sworn in. Insiders said the commissioners were yet to be gazetted. Top cops were yesterday anxiously waiting for an announcement from State House on the change of guard at Jogu House. Lobbying for the top seat intensified by last evening. Names of at least six senior top cops have been floated as potential candidates to take over from Boyat. Among those seen as potential successors are police spokesman Charles Ono, DCI Chief George Kinnatai, Diggs Nirgaba and Edward Mbugwa. Others are government spokesman Eric Kairat, a former senior police officer and Kenya's ambassador to Brazil Isaac Ochin. Yesterday, talk was rife that some state house honkos and topness officers involved in this succession were opposed to a career officer succeeding Boyd. According to police insiders, the NIS had been pushing a narrative that the top security chiefs are corrupt. The NIS chiefs who have the ear of the president want a candidate from NIS to succeed Boyd who was also plucked from the spy world and named police chief. The sources said NIS chiefs have been pushing for Henry Mushiambai, the deputy director at the National Counter-Terrorism Center to succeed Boyd. However, senior officers want one of their own to take up the position.